before we go do this quest, let's pull up and read this. Uh, let's read this update here, the dev blog from the team. So this is from 11 minutes ago. They said, we are aware of an exploit and have disabled all forms of wealth transfer between players. We are working to improve our response time and will stay vigilant against players who violate our TOS. Please read this update on how we are taking action. And here's the update. 33 minutes ago. From Lexandra, community manager. Bad actors discovered through packet manipulation a bug that allowed players to duplicate in-game coin and resources. A similar attack against a different game system was also recently used in housing. Together for these exploits, we have permanently banned over 1,200 players, removing their items from the economy and canceling their trade post listings. We took decisive action against obvious bad actors with a first pass on November 2nd, permanently banning accounts of the most egregious why is that word so hard? Permanently banning accounts of the most egregious offenders, which eliminated over 80% of duped coin and item value from the economy. Nice. The remaining duped items have continued to hurt many players' experience. It didn't affect all players or worlds equally, and also more significantly impacted players who were pursuing end game goals and gear. We apologize for the impact this has had on some of our most dedicated players. It's disheartening to see others cheat to obtain what you have worked so hard to achieve. I personally haven't been working that hard to achieve it. I'm slacking a little bit, but I get what they're saying. While also hurting the economy in the process. It has taken us time to unravel and identify where the items and coin landed. But as of November 15th, we are glad to report that we have permanently banned 460 additional players from either the original trade or newer housing exploits. By doing so, we were able to remove 98% of the remaining duped items and coin in the game. The small amount of duped items that remain were a result of players who stumbled upon the duping issue but did not take exploitive action and will not be banned. Oh, that's cool. We also investigated how these duped items have impacted the end game progression. Our investigation has not shown a significant uptick of max level gear. The below chart that shows that the number of players with an even single with even a single piece of max level gear is still quite low. We did a specific deep dive into void bent armor, and while some of the armor was duped, much of it was removed from the game through bans, and it is still a very rare item. We are still examining the narrower list of items involved in the housing exploit, and there will be further permanent bans there as appropriate. Alright. So this chart. Percent of level 60 players with at least one gear score 600 item equipped, 9%. Percent of level 60 with at least one void bent item, 5.8%. Percent of level 60 with full gear score 600 armor equipped, 2.4%. Almost done. We are working to improve our response time and will remain vigilant against players who violate our TOS. Exploits will not be tolerated and penalties can and will include permanent bans for those players using them. Our team is working tirelessly to continue our investigations and preventing future dupes from happening by correcting and replacing game systems that can be attacked. Please continue to report any issues you see and we will continue to take immediate action. Big thank you goes out to our community members for bringing this to our attention as well. We appreciate all of the information you provide to help keep Aeternum? Aeternum? Wow, I can't say that word. I'm going to say Aeternum. Aeternum, safe and fun. While it took some time to investigate and track down where the duped items are funneled, our telemetry tracks all these transactions, so rest assured we can and will find the bad actors. You know, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy how they can track all that stuff down when people like dupe stuff and trade stuff and do all that. Like, I mean, obviously it's all coding, so it's going to be tracked somewhere. But the fact that them going into all of it and this the deep dive right there, it's pretty crazy. We were talking earlier about um, like mods and exploits and games and stuff like that. Like a game like No Man's Sky, I don't mind playing with mods there that exploit the system because it really only affects me. It's not like the same type of game, but a game like this, like people shouldn't be doing that. It affects 
everybody that plays it and it just makes it less fun for everybody. So I totally get them cracking down on that. That being said, I'm nowhere near the end game, so it doesn't really affect me at all, but more power to them. Ooh, do I want to make charcoal? 